All right, Coach, you're here. You're going to uh, receive your Coach of the Year honors here in a little bit. You're on the field where the state championship's going. But just kind of what it's like, what's it like being in this environment, being on this field? I tell you, it feels it feels great to be on Kroger Field. You know, every player in the state wants to be here. Every coach wants to end up here. I love to be here playing, you know, but this is, I guess, the next best thing uh, to, to be honored here tonight with this award. Gotcha. You know, these awards come because of what the players do. Tell me about this past year's team. Well, you know, this award's voted on by the coaches in the district, and you're exactly right. It's how the team plays, conducts itself on and off the field, and they gain the respect of the coaches in the district. So it means a lot. Uh, this year's team, uh, you know, this was kind of the, uh, the, it was my fifth year, and this, this was my, our group under my staff, our leadership, the way we do things, and I love to see the, the leadership of this team, we had a good senior class, but everybody, the work ethic effort really paid off for us. Now, you mentioned about your peers voted this in. You know, it's one thing to win one th award that may be for media or some, but when it's the coaches who do the same thing that you do at their building, vote you this award. What does that What does that feel like? What does that say when your peers recognize the job you're doing at a school that's not had a lot of great football success? It's a huge honor for me, and, and I think it speaks to the coaches too in the district and how they look at things. You know, it's easy to vote the, the, who, who wins the district. That, that's kind of an easy vote. Obviously, we didn't win the district, and you know we were on the bottom of our district. Yet the coaches felt the way our, our players carried themselves, the way we played the game, the whole coaching staff, and they honored us all. Okay. Uh, what about next year's team? Next year's team. Well, we set a new standard. Okay. Uh, you know, we haven't won five games since, since for a long time. We set a new standard. We got a taste of, of winning a district game. We got a taste of the playoffs. So we set a new standard. And I tell you, the younger guys, uh, they had great leadership this year. The expectations are high out of them. And, you know, we're going to keep doing what we're doing as far as X's and O's and things. But I, I think we're going to pick up right where we left off. Guys, I gave a little time off here at the end of the season. They're all beating me up about getting back in the weight room. We're going to do that in January. But I, I have high expectations for next year's team, too. All right, cool. Well, you know, I mentioned about the players win a lot of times these awards for coaches, but we both know there is a whole group of people behind the scenes, whether it's your staff, whether it's your family, that support you and allow you to win those kind of things. What do you want to say to your staff, to your family, that allowed you to do what you did to get this honor? It's our award. It is our award, and it goes to them more than me. You know, you're talking about coaching staff. You know, we're getting a dollar an hour maybe by the time we're all said and done. And those guys, every one of them, are putting in so much work away from their families, um, and then the families too. You know, this for us to work with these kids like this. You know, my wife mows the grass more than I do. I'm sure all the other coaches are in the same boat, and uh, I know you keep them in the same boat. The support of picking up the slack at home, picking us up when we're down, all those things. It, it, for me, it's truly a, a community or a group award for all. All right, thank you very much.